Hey guys, me homestead. This is Jerusha. It is too hot. I'm in the shade here. My son. So I wanted to see how it would be. We normally make our raised garden beds out of wood. But I saw this sale on Amazon of these galvanized planters, or these planters or raised beds as you want to call them. So I wanted to try it out. So I bought two almost nine foot ones and two almost six foot ones. So I got the nine foot ones in today. I'm gonna put them together and see how they look. This box, not very big, but I'm hoping to get them together okay. They do come with a film. So you do have to peel them the film off. It's really tacky, so, but it checks as 10, which is fine with me. So you peel that off and you gotta put them together. So you wanna try something different, just in case you want, it might be cheaper to do this in your area. Okay, so I'm on the shady part of my house. Our tone. I'm trying to show y'all what the box looks like. This is the eight foot box. It might be about, so this container size is 53 by 12 by 2 inches, or almost 3 inches. And it weighs about 17 pounds. Okay, so these are end pieces. They do have a plastic seal on them protector that you have to peel off on all the metal pieces the sides and the corners it comes with four of these braces for the middle it is a little flimsy it's not a very thick metal it comes with a bag of screws and push downs to like tie it down into the uh those ground secures which you could push if they go in the corners and even the edges they come with tape on uh, protective film on them too you have to pull off and it comes with four of them on the side pieces so i'm gonna put this one together i put one together yesterday and i'll insert those videos and then we'll show you what we're gonna do with them so as i said before pull the edges off first because it's off this back edge like this do this first. If you do this first, it's so much easier to peel. I'll show you. Mama. Okay, so like I showed y'all, you do the edges. So when you do the edges that way, hold on, man. You start peeling back at the end. Hold on, man. And instead of tearing all the time, it starts coming off in one piece. See? See y'all? So much easier to do the edges. Whoa. These edges screwdriver and this is an eight millimeter my husband's ratchet but actually I found it was quicker to assemble the ends first so the other one is so much quicker just to do the ends <laughs> you got end caps for this and all your screws and bolts in here it goes here by the bottoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't see this one. Hold that one. I don't need that one yet. I see what it goes. I know, but I don't need it yet. So, Ow! on mine, the bead is supposed to go on the inside. This little bead here, this little crimp. But I found that the holes did not line up flat with these holes here. Right here. I had it, so if you look, I had this way, you got a space, you had this space between the holes if I lined it up the way they told me to do it. So I had to do it this way. Which is fine, it just shows that crimp on the other side, the unfinished side. And it bends and it goes back. Is that it, Mama? When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. 
side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun so I was trying to walk off my parks. Here I am. We know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, Liam, to rip all the styrofoam. Oh, you bad. You right? Okay, so. These you have to skip every. Does that one go there? There you have to skip every other one. How can she wait? We got the sides and the brace done on the end. They're not heavy, quite wobbly. You don't pick them up where in the middle or somewhere. Where I'm walking around. Put one by the end of the house. Let's see if I like it there. We'll see. Like you could stack them, you just would have to put maybe a two by four, a two by four to brace them and screw into them. That way, you could have it at walking height, but you could stack them if you wanted to. Okay, so these are about as wide as my big beds. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. I'm trying to look around the property or around our garden area to see where I like them at, but so far. This is the only thing I've purchased before. A lot of these woods are recycled or they're dog-eared, dog-eared uh, fence post type boards. Some of those beds are actually not even treated wood, but they've lasted a little while. Now, this is what I've got so far. So hopefully we can, I might order two more and just start filling up some areas for gardening here. So. Come back, but God bless. Thanks for watching.